the choice of the venue of the event. Banquet Hall of the Presidential Villa Abuja is a great testament that it is a gathering of technocrats and political heavyweights. The Senate President Gosri Akpabio, during the event which was also the inauguration of the 26th President of the Nigeria Institution of Estate Surveyors and Valuers, advised that the key actors in the real estate should weed out the bad eggs whose notoriety in exploiting tenants in Lagos, Abuja, and major cities have left many gullible Nigerians stranded. Let us employ the Nigerian Institute of Estate Surveyors and Valuers to lead the charge in copying the exploitation of tenants by real estate agents who are, in my opinion, mostly quacks within your industry. The president of the Nigeria Institution of Estate Surveyors and Valuers and chairman of its council says Nigeria is in the grip of over $900 debt capital, which has affected performance in the real estate sector. According to him, Nigeria is underperforming from the combined value of global equity and bond assets estimated at $264 trillion, far behind Indonesia and South Africa. We need legislators to help us in our fight against quacks. We need laws. A representative of the managing director of the Federal Housing Authority, Oyetunde Uju, says addressing housing deficits is pivotal in national development. For us in FHA, we are aligned to the renewed hope agenda of His Excellency President Bola Tinubu, Ahmed Tinubu GCFR, where economic growth and social progress are fueled by collaborative effort and professional excellence. The guest speaker and Senate Majority Leader Okoyemi Bamidele challenged professional bodies to key into the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and called on unity, security and economy. I urge all professional bodies to take up their mantle of leadership. I urge them to use their expertise and influence to drive positive change in Nigeria. As professionals, we all have a role to play in governance. As professionals, you all have a part to play. You all have a duty of call. The Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy encouraged the professionals in the real estate sector to ensure that they block all leakages in whatever they do. We are in a situation where we have had to take hold of the government's revenue, totally reorganize it, apply technology, open up areas where government revenue was not being collected in Naira and in dollars. All those flows are now coming in because we have re-engineered the whole process, not just on the revenue side, but on the expenditure side. A representative of the Vice President Kishim Shetima expressed optimism that Nigeria can do better in terms of appreciating asset values. There are indeed more modern challenges that you must now avert your mind to. Nations now value intangibles, uh, tangibles and intangibles and place them on global markets to optimize asset value and continue to stay relevant. And, and, and in this stage, this age of artificial intelligence, every asset in the world is now being recognized. With the promise made to jack up GDP from the real estate sector, Nigerians envisage hope in sight to end the housing deficit in the country.